New at 10, the superintendent of Colfax Mingo School has resigned just days after being charged with OWI. Authorities say Marty Lucas had a blood alcohol level almost three times the legal limit. KCCI's Laura Nichols explains this is not his first OWI. That's right, Lucas pled guilty to an OWI charge back in 2008 when he was the superintendent of Bettendorf Community Schools. KCCI has learned the Colfax Mingo School Board knew about this prior offense when they hired Lucas in 2011. Brandy County 911. 61 year old Marty Lucas was driving along this county road west of Grundy Center just before 9 a.m. Thursday when another driver called 911 to report his erratic driving. A, um, a little blue car here in front of us that, I mean, they're all up the road. They're, they've been halfway in the district about three or four times. Court records show Lucas had a blood alcohol content of .224. And he nearly backed into a Grunny County squad car as the deputy tried to pull Lucas over in this parking lot. I just don't think he's a good role model for our kids. Parents like Megan Hernandez wonder why Lucas was ever hired as Colfax Mingo's superintendent in the first place. Why did we really give him a second chance here, I guess? I don't know. Like, I guess everybody deserves a second chance, but now he's ruined that one, too. He made a mistake, but uh, that doesn't change the fact of, um, you know, he's a good. He's a good man. I'm Jeff saying, Leitz uh, was on the school well, board at the I time Lucas well, was so. hired four years ago. He says even though they knew about his previous OWI, they still felt Lucas was the man for the job here in Colfax. Just hope that that you know people realize that um, everybody makes mistakes and do not, um, for lack of a better word, crucify him over a, of a mistake that he made. Now, we tried to talk with Lucas, but he was not home at the time. The Colfax Mingo School Board President, Skylar Rollins, declined an on camera interview, but did tell me that Lucas is on administrative leave until June 30th. That's when his contract was set to expire. Live in the studio, Laura Nichols, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.